Hi there, Adam Bazaljet here, founder of Scratch Golf Academy. Today, how to add speed to your golf swing, drive the ball farther. Going to show you a couple of the components it takes to add speed. Let's assume your golf swing's reasonable. And we're going to do a product review as well. My old boss and mentor, David Ledbetter, has got this new thing, the Parachute. It's pretty good. I'll show you the three benefits of it. And at the end of the video, I'll show you why people often don't benefit from teaching aids. Very briefly, if you're new to this channel, would love it if you'd subscribe. Helps us bring you free content. Also, Scratch Golf Academy has an app at the App Store. I think you'd really enjoy it. Lots of tools and objects there that would help you with your game. Rory McIlroy there is a younger pro, so two things you'll notice, and let's assume grip and backswing for a moment. We're going to deal with downswing in this video. Strong drive of the hips, very strong move there. And secondly, the hips separate from the club. See how the club stays still momentarily? That's what we're looking for. So why is it so important to start the downswing of the good strong hip drive? The farther from the club, or the ball if you're throwing a ball, the farther from that you're generating energy, the more power you will have. Picture a long towel. If you get snapped with that, you're going to feel it a lot more than the same hand motion with a very small towel. It's a longer lever system. You'll get hit harder. So if you're going to throw something or hit something hard, you want to generate energy from the core much farther from the club head. So let's see how this works here. We'll slide the parachute over the driver it couldn't be any simpler to put on that's it I've put it on there and we're going to start making some swings and it offers so, by the way unique thing about this at least in my experience relative to resistance trainers resistance trainers resist by weight and the weight of those heavy objects pulls the club towards the ground this thing all the resistance the wind this has some weight hardly any you distinguish so it's really great that way it doesn't pull the club down and I'm telling you it offers enough resistance that if you're going to create any sort of speed you have got to get engaged here and the resistance also not only helps you get engaged but feel the separation of the hips and the golf club due to the resistance of that parachute so that's number one benefit really gets the core working well well I hit it hard a little bit off to the right here okay benefit number two Kind of makes me smile here. I see the old David Ledbetter autograph. In my early years working for him 30 plus years ago, I was the young guy on the crew and I had to go to Walmart or Kmart and buy all the granolas and drinks and things for the golf school. So I had his credit card, so I had to be able to forge that signature. I used to be pretty good at that. Anyway, number two, it is terrific, not only for warm-up, but for just strength training, golf-specific strength. You will find swinging this thing really tones the muscles. It would be pretty hard to injure yourself with this. There's no impact. So regularly doing this, I think, really builds tone, builds some strength in the golf muscles, helps your balance as well. Okay, Rory McIlroy again. We'll get to that pitfall about teaching aids at the end of the video, but let's have a look here. Let's, uh, let's say, and obviously in his case he has, he's had a great hip move, he's stored energy. What is it that people then fail to do? Typically, they don't stabilize enough to let the energy really crack out to the club head and accelerate there. They fail to capitalize on the start of the downswing. So if you like this parachute, there's a link in the description box below for a discount, check it out. But let's see how that can help us in this third phase. Okay, here we go. A couple of robust swings with this, then let's see how we can get that feeling of speeding the club up. I really feel the way my lower body's working. All I'm going to do is stand it on its end, shake that thing off, go right into a practice swing. That is a lot more speed than I normally have. What happens is I'm conditioned now to use my lower body dynamically. This thing feels exponentially light compared with what it was feeling a minute ago. So, it literally just zooms into motion. That's benefit number three to me is less thinking. This thing's athletic, gets you feeling some energy and some good dynamic sequence. Now, let's touch on, I've been teaching golf for 35 years, why typically, in my opinion, people don't benefit from teaching aids. I like this one, it's got great benefits. By the way, there's a link in the description box below. If you wanna pick one up, you get a discount. I think they're terrific. Why don't people benefit? The reason is they're too passive in the process. Now, if someone handed me healthy pre-cooked meals every day and I just stuck it down my mouth, I don't have to know anything about the digestive system. I'm going to be healthier, give or take. It doesn't work quite that way when you play golf. So what people do, they stick the thing on their club or under their arm or whatever it is, and they just whack away and hit some balls and make some practice swings. And then they, they feel that through some sort of 
law of fairness, they're going to start swinging the club better. It doesn't work that way. You have to use a teaching aid so that you create a contrast in your mind. Hey, this feels different to what I feel when I hit. And when you practice it, a little bit with, a little bit without, a little bit with, a little bit without, and keep the process on going till you can really start to get the two much more together. That's when you'll benefit. So you've got to keep your noggin on, you've got to pay attention to how the things feel different, and you've got to hang in there with it a little bit and just keep at it. You will benefit. I think this thing's great. Again, pick one up below in the link. Think you'd enjoy it. Either way, I hope you get more speed and get some benefit out of this video.